Hello everyone. So today I thought that we would start trying to build a new grass board for the sickle mower. I found these on this plan online. Kind of gives rough dimensions of what the board is supposed to be. So based off this, I made this drawing that gives me kind of dimensions of what it needs to be. So we're going to use these dimensions to copy onto this piece of oak. Let's get to it. So as you can see, we got this all marked out for what it's supposed to look like. So now we're just going to cut around the lines and it should be good. Now we'll just have to drill all the holes, but we'll figure that out later because I don't know where those actually go. So I got this cut out. It's in roughly the correct shape, so that's all that really matters. Now I need to figure out where the holes go. And to do that, I actually have this bracket that goes on here that has the holes on it. So it's going to go on here roughly like that. So I just need to copy those holes over to this and then this main one right here through there. And then I can mount that bracket on there. And then there's also a stick that mounts on this side for the tall grass. It's this little stick that sticks up here and it kind of has a metal bracket that mounts on there and it has three holes that it can pivot on for shorter taller grass um i don't really know what i'm going to do about that right now i don't have the metal bracket that goes on there so i probably have to make something let's get these holes in here and then i'm probably going to put a coat of varnish and maybe some poly on this to kind of protect it from the wet grass and stuff so make it last a little longer hopefully so um, let's get these holes drilled. All right, so I need to get this taken apart. Probably have to end up just cutting them off, which isn't the end of the world, so. So this will go roughly right there. Looks fine. It actually is a little warped. Might try to pound that flat again. A little more flat. That kind of where it should go. Right there looks pretty good. Now we'll just mark these holes, I don't know what those are for, but probably just mark them all. But I think these four were where the bolts were. Or there. These four were where the bolts were. And this one is for this bolt. It's kind of like a flexible with the spring, so if like the board needs to move, it can with this. So drill these four here and that one, and then we should be good. <laughs> Everything seems to line up. Now I'm gonna need some bolts for this. All right, so when I was at the hardware store, they had this uh, hardwood uh, dowel rod. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to mount this on here, how it's supposed to be, but we'll do that in a little bit. I got all the hardware I need in here. So now, before I put this on, I'm going to try to figure out this strip of metal across the bottom. I really just need to cut a section of this out and then bend the edges around and everything. So that's what I'm going to work on. All right, so I really just want to go right to the bottom of this curve here to just be on this hole here. I want to tie it into that. So let's go about two feet. Hopefully I can get that within this area here, which is basically just within there, so that should work. And then we need it three inches wide, which we have plenty of space right there for that. So that's what we're gonna do. So we got the piece of metal cut out here. So now I just need to bend it around the piece of wood. And I did make it a little wider than three inches. I think it's about three and a half inches, just so I have a little extra space. Yep, three and a half inches. That should give about an inch and a quarter up each side, I think. So there should be plenty to actually be able to put a bolt through there. It's not quite perfect and it's a little twisted, but that can be bent out. Should be fine. Let's see if it fits on here. Fits on here. There's a little bit of a gap, but the bolts will crimp that together. But that should work fine. I was just thinking, I don't know why I would stain it. I can just poly this. It doesn't need to look that great. So I'm just going to poly straight onto this. I really need to clean my workbench. It's ridiculously messy and I just keep working on it like this. So that should look good. We'll let this dry now and then we'll get back to you. All right, so while I was waiting for the 
grass board to dry. I decided to clean my workbench because it was driving me insane and there was a bunch of car parts for the Falcon sitting up here forever and just so much nicer. It only took like 20 minutes or something, but just so much better to work on a workbench like this. So I wanted to start working on this grass stick here and what I think I'm going to do is use this piece of metal here and wrap it around the rod and then I'll cut it down here a little bit so there's a hole here and that should make the bracket up. Bending around here is going to be a little bit of a pain but it should work. Alright, I got it cut out. Now I just need to figure out how to bend this around here. It's a little too thick for me to actually bend it by hand I think so. Ah. Yeah, I can do it a little bit, but it's not the easiest thing in the world. That kind of worked. That worked pretty good, actually. So now that goes in there. You can almost bend this all the way over and then bend this on top of it. Now, it's all the way around it, and if I put a bolt through that, it should hold it all in there. That'll work feel like I should cut this down a little bit, kind of like right like here. There's just a lot of metal there that I don't really need, I don't think. Now that we have that tacked in there, there's a bit of a gap there and I didn't want to squeeze it down because I didn't want to mess up the roundness of the hole, so now I need to cut this flat. It looks pretty flat. Now I'll weld a piece of flat metal on there that sticks out far enough. All right, so this is the shape I've decided to go with. It's going to copy this end onto there, and then it's just gonna come straight down and there'll be a hole down here for the other side. All right, so that's how it's gonna get welded on there. I think that'll work. Now I need to drill a hole through there and one through here. I think the bolt's gonna have to come from the other side and then the nut on here. I might weld the nut onto this actually because that'll make it way easier. There's one hole. Now I just gotta go line it up. It's still a little wet hole. Now we gotta line that one up. Now what I need to do is stick a bolt through and put a nut on the other side. Now, just need to weld it. Definitely burn that a little bit. It's not meant to look pretty, it's meant to be functional. So we got this on here now. I'm gonna go paint this real quick. All right, so I decided to paint these. So we can get these on here now. It's coming together. So I just realized after looking at the drawing and then looking at the sickle mower that I put this plate on the wrong side. It's supposed to go on the other side. So I gotta take this back apart and fix that real quick. All right, so I got that changed and now I'm putting this on. Just put that there. I'm just gonna put it in the middle hole because I have no idea what this is actually supposed to be. So that is on. Put our stick in there. As you can see now, it is all done. Made that bracket there. You got the shield on the bottom. I don't know how long this is supposed to be, it didn't say, and I also don't know what angle it's supposed to be at, so I can always bend this if I need to to make it a different angle, but this is going to be so much better than what I had, which was nothing, so. The next thing we're going to do is get this and go and put it on the mower. Let's see if this will get hooked up here. I feel like this should have a washer on the other side, too. So it's not rubbing right up against it, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to cinch this down all the way to get it so this cotter pin fits in here. Let's get the drone and head out there.
I just want to thank you all for watching. Uh, consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy my content. I'm sorry it's been a little while since I made a video. Uh, I got sick for a couple weeks and then the, it was like 100 degrees out so I didn't want to do anything then. And then my wife was having to work overnight shift so it's just been difficult the past three weeks here. So I'm trying to get back into it. It's hard to start making videos again when you haven't for so long because uh, you just get kind of lazy. But I'm trying to make videos again and I'm trying to get things done that I need to get done because we're going to need to mow that over there and I really wanted this grass board done before that. So we will see you next time.